Hello, my name is Jim Keller. I'm a professor of pharmacy, medicine, and oncology out of the University of Texas at Austin and the Health Science Center in San Antonio. Today I want to talk about subcutaneous extended release granisetron for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, or also referred to as CINV. This first slide will show you the pharmacokinetics of extended release granisetron for injection. A granisetron in this case is incorporated into a polymer formulation that utilizes a proprietary technology causing the slow release of granisetron over time. You can see from the time curve below that the drug peaks within the first day or so and then slowly dissipates over the next 90 to 120 hours. This next slide shows that this extended granisetron is not inferior to palinositron in preventing CINV both for MEC patients on the left and HEC patients on the right. If you look at all the graphs, all those curves, basically the lines are equivalent, and this shows both for acute and delayed in MEC, acute and delayed in HEC, that these drugs are basically superimposable and give the same type of result. This next slide actually shows a combination of three-drug combination, granisetron, three-drug combination, versus IV on densetron in a three-drug combination with an MK1 and steroid. And you can see here on the left side, both in the delayed and overall phase, that again, this extended release granisetron three-drug combination is superior, at least in the delayed phase, to the three-drug combination of ondansetron. On the right side, again, if you look at platinum versus non-platinum, again, you can see the superiority of the granisetron extended release three-drug combination versus ondansetron three-drug combination. From a safety standpoint, this combination is basically relatively safe. You can see here there's no major differences in toxicities between the granisetron, palinositron, or ondansetron arms. Uh, and the toxicity is what we'd expect from the 5-HT3 antagonist in combination with NK1 and dexamethasone. Summarizing, extended release granisetron sub-Q is indicated with other antimetics, the NK1 and steroid for the prevention of acute delayed CINV related to MEC and or anthracycline AC, anthracycline cyclophosphamide-based chemotherapy in women. The extended release granisetron is administered as a slow subcutaneous injection in the oncologist's office. The drug must be allowed to warm up to room temperature before administering. Safety profile appears to be similar to ondansetron and palinositron. I want to again thank you for your time and goodbye. <laughs>